Daniel Naves Gomez, who was also part of Longfist yesterday, has got to aim for a 9.62 or better if you want to make the medals at this current state. We're still not even halfway through the competitor list yet. Well, that was a nice little shuffle of the sword. Well, the Dow, I should say. 540 jumped inside. And again, yeah. The weapon switch. That's good sword work. Very nice directional change in the area 360. A little stumble there. Yeah, tiny stumble, just in the middle of it. Again, a very challenging move to throw towards the end of your routine. Most, most athletes would try to put it in the first two sections. Right. Empty stance on the left leg. Oh, some interesting points in that form. If you look at the highlights of it now. What was that? Hand switch with the weapon. And there it is. Extra yep. step. Daniel Naves Gomez from Mexico. And a good solid performance. Will it be enough? 9.62 or more needed to get into medal contention. And that barrier currently uh, is filled by Seong Jae Cho from Korea. Just contemplating so much for them to think about. And of course, such fast movements as well. It is quite incredible. And one thing that was really good about Daniel Gomez's performance was the fact that his eyesles fall to his sword. And that's very yeah. important. You have to be able to look at where you're actually yeah. attacking. Yeah. Because th these forms, I said, if for the people that are new to Wushu that are currently watching this, these forms are essentially played in their heads against opponents, imaginary opponents. So you do need to have that point of attack and that focus as well. And on top of that, you need to have the momentum and the power and energy from within you going through your hand into the sword. Martial intent is crucial in the uh, yeah. for the high level for a high B score, which is the overall performance. That's what it's all about. It's also great to see. You may have just got a shot of it just there, but some of the other teams just sitting around the arena. I think you can just see Luis Alberto behind in the Mexican team. And in fact, if I'm right, that's Ilias Kuznilov as well up there. So yeah, looks like. Daniel awaits his score. As you can see on the other mat right now, the men's Nangun. Mario Martinez and Alan Tang, as I said. 7.94 in the end. Quite a few deductions. Looks like most of his deductions were based off of his uh, C difficulties. He got a 0.7 yeah. total score on his C difficulties. Score, 